I mean, I, I haven't seen every picture coming out of, right. of Aleppo, but I, seen, I, I haven't seen, honestly, say I haven't seen any dancing in the streets here. So uh, yeah, I'm not saying I'm saying people are. Well, no, you said jubilant. They're happy. Jubilant, and they're, I mean, okay, maybe I, I miss. Yeah, I, I think misspoke. maybe you did okay. overspeak. Trails of gunshots fill the night sky above Aleppo, but after months of siege, this time the shots are in celebration. Despite the pouring rain, jubilant residents took to the streets in the government-controlled west of the city. Patriotic songs blasted out from cars and tanks as locals chanted slogans praising the army and their president. I'm really happy. This is Aleppo. This is Aleppo. We're happy with this liberation. We've finally seen the end of the rebel militants. God save Syria and God protect us. You have seen the kind of the, the reports that Aleppo essentially has fallen. I mean, do you all have any statement on that? Well, I mean, we're, we're seeing the same reports that you are. We're, we're, we're seeing the, the dreadful uh, images that are coming out uh, of Aleppo. Um, uh, I'm not in a position to, uh, to say definitively one way or another that, that, uh, that the city has now you know, fallen or that the, the regime and Russia have, have taken it. Um, but the, the reports that we're getting out of Aleppo, uh, both uh, as we see in, in the media, but also from other sources, are, are clearly disturbing. I mean, we're seeing now reports of people being executed in the streets, um, uh, just, just killed um, because they're there. Uh, and that's despicable. Uh, and again, we have long said um, that there's that, that the bloodshed in, in Aleppo needs to stop. That the brutality of the regime and the support that it's getting from Russia uh, and Iran has got to stop. The other thing I'd say is, even if this is the end of the siege of Aleppo, it is not the end of the war in Syria. Even if it is the end of the siege in Aleppo, it is not the end of the war in Syria. It will go on. Uh, the opposition will continue to fight. Extremists will be continued to be drawn uh, to the, the vacuum that continues to exist in so many places in Syria. And people, innocent people, many of them children, will be flung into refuge. You said that you want a ceasefire that would allow people to leave of their own free will. Do you have any reports that Syrian army units are stopping people from leaving? Of their own I, 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 I have, again, uh, say uh, reports of this arrangement are, are pretty fresh. I, I can't confirm that it's actually true. Um, we have seen, excuse me, we have seen just over the last couple of days that some civilians have left. We've also seen reports that, uh, that, that uh, uh, some fighters have left and then and then disappeared, which is deeply concerning. So I, I don't, I don't know. Um, and uh, what, as I understand it, from what this deal, if it's true, would allow is allow armed opposition members to also leave uh, with uh, some of their uh, light weapons. Um, but again, we have to, you know, the proof's going to be in the pudding here. We have to see what happens. Because you know, there are all these reports about uh, atrocities and so on, and I'm not in any way questioning uh, their possible credibility. But also, I saw other reports where people are jubilant, they're happy to see the army command, they're going to the western side where they can get, you know, medicine and food and so on and all these things. So it is not all just one one dimension, kind of. Would you agree with that? No, I don't, Said. I mean, I haven't seen every picture coming out right. of, of Aleppo, but I, I haven't seen, honestly, Said, I haven't seen any dancing in the streets here. So. Uh, I'm not saying, I'm saying people are... Well, no, you said be, jubilant, they're happy, I mean, and they're... I mean, okay, maybe I, I missed... Yeah, I, I think misspoke. maybe you did okay. overspeak. People were relieved to see that they are... You know, I, I think at this point, there's probably people that would be relieved for right. any sense of calm in their lives after what they've been through at the hands of the regime, say, with the support of Russia. Um, I mean, they have literally been under siege for months and have been starved and have been bombed. Hospitals have been destroyed, and those who have tried to leave have been killed on the way. Uh, convoys have not not only been not allowed in, they were bombed back in September. So, 
uh, I can't rule out the fact that there might be some people in Aleppo who uh, are relieved to see some calm, even if it is under the jackboot of the regime. That's that uh, I, I, under under the conditions they've been living in. You know, I, I certainly can't, I can't begrudge them. But by and large, all we have seen is brutality, violence, and bloodshed, and a lot of destroyed and wrecked lives and families. And you don't have to look any more or any further than the the network news and what's on on cable and online right now and the images coming out of there i mean it's it's pretty it's it's pretty gut-wrenching to look at i understand it's quite yeah. disturbing and I, you know i look at yeah. them and so on and i'm quite disturbed and so on but also all these sources they never have you know any kind of solid veracity i listened to the u.n spokesman today and he always cited uh, you know multiple sources multiple sources we never relied on multiple sources. We say that this uh, they remain allegation until we have some sort of ver verifiable evidence and so on. I'm saying there is a great deal of the fog of war, no pun intended, in, in this case. How do you establish what is really going on on the ground, on your own, independent? So I, I think, you know, we've talked about this uh, an awful lot of times. I, I, uh, we gather the best information that we can from a, a, a variety of sources. Uh, uh, some of it's press reporting, no question. Uh, a lot of it comes from reputable aid agencies uh, that um, that are either on the ground or have associates on the ground uh, in, in Syria. And some of it comes from intelligence sources, which I'm obviously clearly not going to get into. And I don't think that it's incumbent upon me or anybody else from a podium uh, to sit there in detail and provide a laundry list of every single individual organization that gives us information. It's a mosaic. Uh, and frankly, again, I would encourage you to go flip on CNN today and look for yourself at the imagery that's coming out of Aleppo by a reputable news organization. It's all there for you to see.